Right guys, so just a quick video. Uh, I've been so busy with my Shield TV and setting up the Hyperspin for such a long time now, I've kind of fallen out of the loop with what's going on, on the PC side of things, even though I do still stay reasonably active on the forum. So this thread caught my eye today asking about animated wheel art. Juice Lee saw this video done by Hursty, who's well known for doing content creation for Attract Mode. Attract Mode you quite often see on Raspberry Pis because there was a time RetroPie could not do video previews. So having a track mode over RetroPie was really the, the best way to get something in competition with Hyperspin to look really cool. A track mode can be done on the PC as well and I've got to tip my hat to Hursty. This does look very cool. All of the system wheel art is animated with MP4 video files. It looks great. So Juicely wanted to know if we could do this on Hyperspin. Now to my knowledge, and no we couldn't, there was a time way back when SWF files or flash files could be renamed to the PNG file format, which is a picture, and for whatever reason, Hyperspin would play the animation. Uh, I thought that stopped working around version 1.3. As I say, I've been out of the loop. I didn't realize version 1.5.1, not only did it fix an issue uh, with Windows 10 compatibility, but they added in this animated wheel art feature. So what I wanted to do, just for Juice Lee, is um, see what would happen if I convert these MP4 videos of Hursty's to the SWF file format. If I put these files into the main menu wheel art folder, the SWF files take precedence over any PNG file that is in there. So uh, I don't know that I will use this. Um, for me, I like to have the themes. I set the wheel art to alpha zero, which means it disappears once I've selected the system. But I've changed it to alpha one, just so you can see that they stay on the screen. Uh, please don't give me flack saying the quality looks terrible, you know, and they're not spaced well or whatever. Uh, I just wanted to do it for a bit of fun to see what would happen. So yeah, yeah, it works when the themes don't get in the way. Uh, I think what I'd have to do if I was serious about doing this would be to cut the videos to a point when the logo is already on the screen so it makes sense as I go through the wheel. Uh, in a track mode all of the system wheels were animated at the same time. In hyperspin it only does it when we stop on the system. So yeah, keep in mind it's not just the wheel art that it does it for for the systems it will do it you can do it for the games as well that's down to the content creators to create all this stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do it or not. Um, for me, it's only going to be on the screen for like a split second before the theme takes over. Uh, but yeah, maybe for the, I don't know. I don't know. Would it, would it make sense to do the video snaps as, as the wheel art? I don't, I don't know. Uh, probably not. It's better to just have the, the, the big, the big video snaps. But you know, that's the nice thing about Hyperspin. We can all do things differently and, and make it our own so uh, yeah it's a very cool feature we ever thought of doing it um, and I look forward to seeing what the community does with it so I'll just leave it there guys have a great day have a great evening whatever it is you're doing and uh, I'll see you all when I see you next ciao for now